Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome into the Cloud9 Corner. Today we're going to be talking about Jammer Professional 6. It's a uh, music creator, songwriter, and a lot of other things. But first thing we want to do is download the program. I have a link down below in the description. Once you get it downloaded, we'll open it up and check it out and once you get it downloaded it should look something like this you've got two timelines you've got your measures down below in the white and up above that you have your tracks which will be your music tracks so right now everything is blank and uh, we'll get started on it and I'll show you how to set it up it's great if you're writing a song or you need music for a song or if you're just trying to do both whatever it's a great program to uh, help learn and get started you can use it for a backing track to practice your guitar or instrument parts so we'll get right into it so when you come down to the um, the measures you can see we've got a little red thing here at the bottom of this but you've got your blue block anywhere you left click the blue block will go no matter where you put it at but you've only got four bars of in each measure so we're gonna go to the very first bar and um well before we go to that you can go over here you can see there's another little red icon this is your punch out icon we're on uh, this is measure 8 we're gonna scroll it down to uh, let's say 120 120 measures and then I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to punch out after current measure now you probably won't see this but there's a list that comes up when you right click let me see if I can get that in there uh, let's see here maybe let me see if I right click it goes to punch in and out before current measure after current measure so that's the one you want is punch out after current measure hopefully that's showing up if not you right click on anywhere in the measure where the little blue bar is there and you punch that then the little red icon will appear right here so now it will play hundred and twenty measures before it punches out so we're going to scroll back to the top and go to the very first measure. We have no music yet or no tracks in the, the top. So I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to go to load band style. So if you're not seeing this when you right click, you're not seeing the little bar that I'm seeing. It, it, you go to load band style. And I'm going to make sure that you see this one. If I can. Okay, so hopefully now you're seeing the second part. When you right click on the first measure, you go to load band styles. I'm going to put a lead in count with the sticks one two three four so I highlight lead in count sticks one two three four I'm going to double click it you can go down here to open then it puts this blue bar in and it tells you underneath of it lead in count sticks one two three four so that's what's going to be in the first measure it also added an instrument up here the sticks so that's where this came from we're going to go to measure two right click again hopefully you can see this go to load band style when you go to load band style let me make sure okay you should be able to see this 
Now, instead of the lead-in count, the next one we want to go to, I'm going to use to uh, demonstrate, I'm going to go to Rock, 70s, Rock, 70s, Rock and Roll Groove. I'm going to highlight it and then double click it. Then it will put this blue bar in there and also some more instruments up here. A bass and two guitars. So now we've got a lead in count, one, two, three, four, and when we've got a rock and roll groove going to start playing. The next thing we want to factor in on it is our chord. Now it automatically starts you right here in a C major. So if you don't know your chords, there's only like seven. It's like A, C, D, G, and all that. Anyways, that's a different video. So it starts us in C. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to compose this, and it'll play 120 measures of C. I'm not going to play that, but we're going to compose. Now to compose it, every time you ch make a change, you'll want to compose to, to make that change heard. So I'm going to go up here, I'm going to compose it. We had it blank at first, and I'm going to hit Compose. And that's a C. So we're going to go back to our first bar or measure of music here, besides our lead-in count, and I'm going to put the blue bar on the first dot, and I'm going to go to my keyboard and I'm going to press D. It automatically puts the D in there. I'm going to hit enter. Now we have a D there in that chord. But it won't play the D until we compose it one more time. So I'm going to go from, uh, I'm going to go D. I'm going to go two measures over to the fourth measure. And, uh, I'm going to put F, hit enter, I'm going to go two measures down, I'm going to put the D back in there, now this is just an example song, so, and on the eighth measure I'm going to put G, and on the tenth we're going to go back to D. So now we've got several chord changes in this music. So, and it's also going to be playing in D and not C. So it's going to sound a little different. Now, in order to make these changes, I have to hit compose. So here we go. play D until you put another chord in or whatever you know go to the next step okay so the next thing that I want to do is I want to take out that ride symbol I don't know if you noticed it ride symbol in the uh, drums I'm not much of a fan of the ride symbol so I'm gonna mute the bass the guitars and you can hear that ride symbol that okay so to take that out what I'm gonna do is I'm going up here to the sticks I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to you probably won't be able to see this but I'm right clicking and I'm going to split current track by note number now that's an actual button or in the list that you can click on you left click that and then it opens up all the different instruments that's in that sticks and this this right here the 70s rock groove these are these are the drums that that added so it added this ride symbol down here at the bottom I'm gonna mute that it's gonna mute the sticks part of it but it's okay because you've got another one right here that's playing that's the one that continues on so we're going to go back to our instruments, uh, string instruments. We're going to turn the first guitar, we're going to leave muted. The middle guitar, I'm going to unmute, 
and the bass. Now we're going to hit compose one more time. Basically, that's a song right there. Okay, so what I do um, whenever I get this much of it done is I like to take out the uh, the guitar part right here on this track, on track two. So I select that. I come over here. It says it's a steel guitar. So I'm going to double click the steel guitar and you may not be able to see this one either but i'm gonna yeah yeah maybe you can okay so you can see that all right it's got all these different instruments i'm gonna make the instrument instead of that steel guitar i'm gonna put it on the bass uh finger picking bass electric bass finger i mean i'm sorry Electric bass finger is what it says, and then I'm going to click OK. Now, it's going to take that twangy sound out of it and give us more of a bass run. So, let's check it out. Let's hit, you don't have to hit Compose, but that's where I like to start from. So, I hit Compose. That's another thing I'm glad it did that. Now I can explain this. Each blue bar or band style that you insert into it has a different tempo. You can notice the tempo change when I click on this bar, 127. I click on the first measure and it goes to 90. That's where I was adjusting it at. So I'm going to go 120 on the uh, first measure, the lead-in count, and I'm going to go... Uh, let's do 140 like I started to do. Now let's listen to it and see. Now 
you figured out the tempo and each each band style will have an, its own tempo let's change the tempo the band style everything but let's keep our chord pattern we're going to right click on the, the rock and roll 70s groove and we're going to go to load band style again and this time let's do country so I'm going to come up here to the country ballad groove one so country ballad 12 by 8 groove one we're going to load that in here now and it, you can see it changed it also changed our tempo it also changed our instruments so now it's still got our ride symbol muted and but it changed these drums to a different beat so now I'm going to hit compose and it'll change the style of music to country and we still have our chords in there D F and G so let's let's hit compose and listen different style with the same music and band style it'll it'll change it up just a little bit so you can make that change by hitting compose over and over and over and I think each one will have like three different comparisons maybe four that it goes back and forth between so you can change that up a little bit by doing that so the next thing I want to do is tell you how to loop what we have right now so what we have is we have a three chords in a song or whatever say this was the song you wanted when it got to this chord you want it to just start over so you can play it over and over and over alright so we go to our first measure you don't want to do the lead count leave the lead count out so it don't do that every time it'll only do it once go to our second measure where our country music is right click it and go to punch and loop and on there it's going to open up another box with the arrow and you're going to see set loop from so that's f uh i think it's f11 on here set loop from i click that now it's got us another little icon right there for, at, on the beginning of this measure. When we get down to the D chord where the song ends, where we stop putting chords in, we want to go to the very next measure after the D, right click, go to punch and loop, and go to set loop 2 which is F12 set loop 2 so I hit that and it, it puts this little extra line in right here so you can see now it's only going to play these these measures down to here and it's going to start back over up here so let's see if it works I'm going to hit compose there won't be no lead in until I rewind well I'll go ahead and do it you hit rewind once it brings you here you hit rewind twice it brings you back to the beginning. Now I'm going to hit compose.
one thing that you can't do is save your song. And reason for that being there is a price on it. If you want to be able to save your song, you have to um, you have to pay. And it, the price is not bad. I think it's like fifty dollars. And it opens up. It gives you a lot more music to uh, add to it, and you can save, which means a lot. Now you can save a MIDI file. I think you can export a MIDI, and that's free with the the demo. And then you can load the MIDI into another program if you are that far along. You can load it in and you know use your track. But this will help you make the music. It helps you practice and do a lot of things like that. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comments. I will answer your questions if I can. If not, I'll help you find an answer for that question. And we'll figure it out together. So hit me up. Let me know. I hope it helped. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.